Hello guys, and come back to our video on Terraria Journeys and So today was the first day where I know where I went back to school and I must say it was terrible Anyway, welcome back to Terraria Journeys and last episode that you've done was well Maybe not that interesting to watch, but it's very interesting to do We have explored the skies got us got a bunch of like, you know items from the floating islands and recently we just explored the sky, so we did. We used the golf ball to explore, and we had a fun time. We also built the arena, we also go and built, we also have gone and built this big, huge, very strange looking arena here in the crimson biome, which is pretty cool. And today, I plan on using that arena. I think the time has come, I think we're ready to challenge the Brain of Cthulhu. So we're going to use this arena and we're going to fight the Brain of Cthulhu, presumably next episode, or no, maybe no, actually today, yeah, today, today. I'm not thinking straight. We're probably gonna go, yeah, fight the brain for Cthulhu today. Also, I do wanna go and soon do some underground exploring, so you can go and find the Goblin Tinkers. I can eventually combine these two. But we can work on that later. So, generally, yeah, today we're gonna go, first things first, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna fight the brain, destroy the brain for Cthulhu, have a fun time with that. And I guess after the brain is defeated, then we can go and do some more sky exploring. Yeah, I wanna do more. Because we've done all this, we've explored all this, we've found all these islands, which is pretty fun. But we gotta do more, this ain't enough. What have we done? Yeah, we we gotta do more. So I do want to go and explore the skies even more today. I guess I could go tower up a bit and explore this bit so it stops, no so it stops annoying me. And then we can go and explore all this and this. I just do want to carry and explore the skies. Because we explored a bit. We explored quite a big bit. But there's still a lot more of the skies to explore. So we can go and explore the rest of the skies. Probably today or next episode, we'll see. But firstly, before we do any explore, before we do any fight, before we do any exploring, we've got to first of all go <clears throat> and we've got to fight the brain of Cthulhu. So there's two ways to actually reach the chamber now. I can either go and get down, I can either go to the crimson and get down through here, or I can go and use this new shaft that we discovered last time. I'm going to use that because it's going to be much cooler. So let's, yeah, let's go to the crimson, make sure we're ready. Fight the brain. If we lose, then that is going to be a sign that we're not strong enough yet. So we're going to go and just, you know, come back later on. But if we win, that's going to be quite great. Because if we do win, we can already start getting ourselves some, um, uh, what's the word? Some, yeah, some crimson, some crimtain. We can make ourselves some crimson armor. Or we can just make ourselves a crimson pickaxe and then head straight into the underworld. And mine some hellstone and get, get ourselves some hellstone armor. Then use the hellstone armor and hellstone weapons to take on the jungle and the queen bee. That's the plan. So, yeah. Ha under exploring the underworld, getting Hellstone, finding the Queen Bee, we can do all that after we defeat the Brain of Cthulhu. We cannot do it, we cannot progress until we defeat the Brain. So, let's, yeah, let's go, let's fight the Brain of Cthulhu, see how far we can get. And also, we can explore the skies if we're gonna have some time. We might not have enough time, that's the thing. We generally might not have time, we probably will, we might not have enough time. So, if we do not have enough time, we're not gonna fight the Brain. But, if we do have enough time, then, well, we're gonna do it. No, wait, not fight the brain. Explore the skies, yeah. Because we're going to fight the brain right now. If we don't have any time after the brain fight, then that's not so weird. Brain fight. If we don't have any if we don't have any time after the fight, then we're simply not going to be able to do anything. But if we do have a lot of time, then I'm going to use all the time to go and explore the skies even more. Because I do want to go and just maybe get more, you know, items from the floating islands. You never know. I have already got this, and yeah. We got the lucky horseshoe, which makes it that we, we don't take any fall damage. Like, fall damage doesn't exist. We cannot take any fall damage. It's quite great. So I guess you can go explore the skies more, see what else you can find up there, and just have a more, have a fun time, you know, exploring the skies. We can do that today, if we have enough time. Depends how the Brain of Cthulhu fight's gonna go. And I just get up here, and let's say, uh, yeah, let's use this new chamber thing. Not chamber thing. This new railway system that we found. Yeah, because you uncovered this last time. And this is very good because it takes me straight into the Brain of Cthulhu. Like, it takes me literally right a stop. It takes me, I just destroy something. Yeah. It takes me straight to the bread, to the antechamber. It takes me just literally right there. It literally takes me directly into the chamber. Which makes it so I don't have to actually walk across the overground. And I don't have to actually walk down into the thing. This will take me already straight into the um, chamber without walking all the way to it. So it's going to be faster because I'm going to be using the. It's faster to go through here than over here because, you know, I'm going to be using the rail system rather than walking. So it's already faster to use this than walk. That's the first thing, and secondly, it takes me right into here, which previously I have to go and climb up the mountain and go down. Well, this takes me straight to there, which is quite great. Anyway, let's just really, I guess, go <clears throat> get off these items, so I don't have my inventory, and then I can get down there. Can we fight? Can we defeat the brain? That's the big search. Can we defeat it? I don't know. We can definitely fight it. We can definitely take it on, but I don't think we can defeat it. Well, uh, maybe I don't, I don't know if we can defeat it. Because we're strong. We've got a lot of health, nearly max health. We need one more life crystals, we've got max health. We have 26 defense, very good gold armor. 
decent weapons issues. The weapons aren't that great. I would prefer better weapons. I don't have the best weapons. Like, I don't have too, yeah, I don't have too many good weapons. I can already get some better weapons from the Underworld. But for now, we kind of have these not too good weapons. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's just go give it a go. If we get completely annihilated, then there's going to be a sign that I have to go and get stronger. But if we get quite close, you can guys just keep on trying until we do win. And if we win, that's going to be great news because that means that you can go and... Well, do more stuff, move on half on time. Anyway, here we are. This is our arena. It looks weird on the map. It looks even even weirder in, you know, in-game. But that is because it's a life-saving... What the hell is this? It's a... Oh, wait a minute. It's a green fairy. Yo, green fairy, where are you taking me? Gal, where are you taking me? Yeah, come on, where are you taking me? Okay, these fairies are new, and these fairies kind of lead you to valuable places. Okay, where the hell are you taking me? Yeah, okay, lead the way, fairy. Lead the way. Can somebody, like, kill this son of a gun? Furry, where the hell are you going? Now, come on, Furry, lead the way. Is it is the arena? It looks very weird, but that's because it's an arena that saves on platforms. Because of what I built, I pretty much built it so there's a platform every other block. Whilst normally there's a platform. Is this the guy healing me? I think this guy's healing me. But yeah, normally there's a platform every. No, normally you build a platform, just a full straight up platform. But what I've done is I build a platform with every other block being missing. Which means the platform still works the same, I can still use it exactly the same. But I use twice as less. Platform, which is quite great. Anyway, yeah, this little green fairy photo to lead me somewhere, but it's not leading me somewhere, it's just hanging around me. I think it might either, like, I don't know, heal me when I'm weak, I don't know what it, I don't know what it does. I have no clue what it does, all I know is that it's hanging around me. And, well, that's fine. My pickaxe isn't actually strong enough to break crimson, crimtain, it's not strong enough to break this block. But my bombs are strong enough, so let's go and use our bombs. Let's break our way into there, there we are, bust our way straight in, and get ourselves some, yeah, stuff. There we are, voila. Simple as that. Now that we're in, we can go and hopefully break, break the thing. Yeah. Good look at it. Look at the thing it made. So we're going to have to go and break it and immediately go and jump down and go over here. Yeah, we're going to have to go and do that. Okay, let's first of all go and kill that worm so it stops annoying me. Then we can go summon the boss, hopefully defeat it, and have a fun time. I can't believe seven minutes already passed since I started recording. Holy Jesus. Time flies. Alright, now let's, yeah, let's do it. If we fail, that's pretty bad. I probably should take some potions with me, but you know what? I never use potions, so we're not going to use any this time. It's going to make this a bit harder, which is fine. I like the challenge. And boom, what did you get from this? Crimson Heart. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. I'm stuck already. That's going great. Oh, no, here's the brain. Okay. This is going horribly wrong because I fell down. I wasn't actually supposed to fall down here. Okay. Okay. I'm already dead. I'm already dead. I'm dead. No, I'm dead. My man, I'm dead. What the hell is going on? I am stuck. I am actually stuck. Okay. Well, teleport out of here. I'm going to run. And I'm dead. Okay. Great. I got stuck, god damn it, give me a minute, I gotta fix this. Alright, we're back. I simply have gone to get myself some more bloody spines. What did these do? They summoned the brain. Because there's two ways to summon the brain of Cthulhu. I've already destroyed a crimson orbs, which we've done, but that really doesn't work. Because the boss kills me before I get to the arena. Or we can use the bloody spines. I've gone, I've gotten myself two bloody spines. So that means we have two attempts. If I use both of these and we fail, that means I would just be too weak and I gotta get stronger. But yeah, cool. Anyway, what did we get from the shadow orb? Well, we managed to get ourselves a crimson heart, and this simply summons a heart to provide life, light, which is great. So we we have a free light source basically. This just gives us light. We can put it on here, on right here. Yeah, we, this is circles around us. Well, not circles around us. It just yeah, jumps around. It doesn't provide too much light, but this is always you know better than nothing. So cool. And I have a heart jumping around us. I pretty much never get these items. Like they are not that common. And when I played Hurry, I never get these. Literally never. So this is like you know one of my. Well, one of my first few times using these hearts. I generally get the crimson or I generally get the shadow orb more commonly because I generally use the uh, corruption biome. But we do have the crimson in this world, so I actually got the heart, which is quite cool. Anyway, so I see you. So we failed. Why did we fail? Because we were not on arena. Why were we not on arena? Because you had to go a bit away from our arena to destroy the crystal. But now, what can we do to prevent that? Well, we can use the bloody spines, where we can go and use them anywhere as long as we're in the crimson. So you can go and use those right on the ground, and that's gonna mean that we, yeah, that's gonna mean that we don't have to break any orbs. It's gonna make that a bit better, and plus we can go and summon the boss we're right here, which means I'm already gonna be on the arena. I'm gonna be on the arena before the boss even arrives, which is quite great. That's gonna make this process 20 times easier. So without further ado, there's no enemies that are here. Nobody has spawned in yet. So let's go and use this before any enemies spawn, and let's hopefully defeat the brain of Cthulhu. Here we go. If we fail, then I'm just gonna mean that we're that we're just too weak. We're gonna get a bit stronger. Right, the first half is pretty easily gonna do some you just gotta evade these things. Yeah, you gotta evade these whilst evading the big huge brain. So this is the first half, quite simple, not that complicated. Simply evade these things and deal damage to those guys. 
In the second phase, you're gonna hit the brain, because the brain's actually gonna start attacking you. So that's quite complicated. Anyway, that's clearly not doing any damage. Yeah, because I don't have two, I don't have pretty much any good weapons. Like, all my weapons are so bad, I need to get better weapons. So my weapons are very bad. I could get the Shadow Bolt. The Shadow Bolt could be quite good. It's just I need to defeat Skeltron for me to get that, because there was no Shadow Orbs in the, you know, top of the thing. Anyway, yeah, we're dead. We've lost, because my weapons are just too weak. I'm not dealing enough damage to the boss. I need better weapons. I am. I have slowness, which is quite great. I need better weapons because we're, we're gonna lose this because I don't have. I don't have enough good weapons. I need some better weapons because these weapons don't deal enough damage, as you can see. So I need some better weapons for this battle. I don't have any good weapons, and I already got slowness against Squad Like, okay, we're gonna be entering phase two soon. Oh, we are. Do we are doing very good. We are nearly in phase two. Okay, we are in phase two. Here we go. Okay, I didn't think we actually get this far. Get more mana using these stars. There we are. We can hit the brain back. If we, if we deal damage to the brain, we're gonna actually gonna hit it back, which is quite useful. Okay. I haven't brought any mana. I haven't brought any mana potions, which means that if we do run out of mana, we're gonna be pretty screwed. Heal up, because we kind of need that. There we are. And we did, because I'm out of mana. Great. Okay, we're gonna have to go and use different damage. Oh, oh, great. Wow. Great. I'm dead. Look how close we got, though. We dealt a lot of damage. It's just it had a bit more health. I need a better weapon. I need a better weapon. My weapon doesn't deal enough damage. I just need a better weapon. You know what's a better weapon? The mini shark. I was I was I originally said I wasn't gonna get it. I originally said we're not gonna get it. I thought, I originally said the mini shark ain't good enough. We're not gonna bother getting it. But you know what? I need it. Let's go. Let's buy the mini shark because I need something that deals more damage, and the mini shark deals more damage. Mr. Gun Dealer, you're not a gun dealer. You're the gun dealer. Um. You, there it is, the mini shark. It is 29 gold. It is, that's a lot cheaper. Normally, it's way more expensive, right? It is. Yeah, he's just selling selling it for on a sale. Because we're, you know, because he's in... Uh, oh, whatever. Let's just buy it. The mini shark. Boom. Thank you. We're also going to go and buy more ammunition from you. Probably, you know, one entire stack of bullets. Because we're going to need a lot of ammo. All right. So, plan A didn't work. Then let's move on to plan B. That's what I got to do. If plan A doesn't work, it's time for plan B. Plan A was just to shoot it with the wand, and I mean the stuff. The journey did work. That did work. We did kill the hearts journey somewhat well, but it didn't really work for the part part where we actually fought the brain itself. Oh, for the love of God! It didn't really work for the part where we fought the brain itself because the brain simply dealt a bit too much damage to us. We couldn't really deflect it. I was running out of you know mana shots. It didn't work. It was just too slow. Oh, I slapped that in here. Yeah, I gotta put that back. It was simply too slow. It was literally just way too slow. It just wouldn't work because it was too slow. So, that is you gotta go. And you gotta use plan B, where you're gonna use a way faster weapon. Because the mini shark is insanely fast. So this is gonna be way better because it's faster. This is slow. This this is slow as is average, but it's slow. This is fast. So we're gonna use this. This will hopefully help us. It will hopefully help us defeat the boss. But before we fight the boss, I gotta go and put that wand back to my main character. Give me a second. And the staff is gone. Beautiful. Now, let's go. Let's get ourselves back into the arena. Let's try this again. Because first attempt failed because we were too slow. That is the reason why we failed. We were simply too slow. We dealt decent damage. Damage was decent. Issues we were just simply way too god darn slow. I'm stuck. We were way too slow. The boss dealt more damage to us than we did to the boss. And the boss simply killed it before we could kill it. The boss was too fast. It simply... The brain of Cthulhu killed us before we could kill it. So that means you gotta go and speed up to kill it faster. Well, we can use the mini shark for that, which you just boat. This weapon is very fast, deals decent damage, less than this, but this is way faster, which means that I can deal more damage quicker. So this is gonna be way better. This is gonna be simply way better. It's not as good as my wand, but it's gonna get the job done. I'm most certain this is gonna work. So well, let's, uh, yeah, let's do it. If plan A didn't work, let's try plan B. As you know, plan A was to go and shoot at the wand, but the wand's too slow. Doesn't deal that much damage, and it's not that great overall. But, this gun, this gun will do some damage. Look at this. Like, the dude's dead. <laughs> dude's dead. Let's do this. We still have one more spine left, because it took two earlier. So, yeah. Here we go. Attempt number two. This time, we won't fail. Why? Because I'm ready this time. This time, I've got all the stuff that I need. I'm gonna spawn you one up there. There we are. No, I said we're gonna spawn you one up there, but that didn't actually work. Okay. Great start. I'm already taking so much damage. Okay, get up the goddamn arena. Okay, spawn you in. There we are. And then shoot. Okay, so far it's going quite bad. Okay, no, I got confusion, which means I'm going. Okay, stop, stop, get the hell away from me. You stupid sons of eyes. That's not really an insult, now, is it? Why do I move slowly so much? Oh my god, this goddamn brain is getting my nerves. Okay. This is going so, this is going worse. It's literally going worse than it was going the first time. I didn't move around more, I'm moving too slow. I to, oh god, why did he spawn over there? Well, up here. Okay, heal up, because we're gonna need that. Why do I heal only 50 health? I need better healing potions. And we're gonna be going into phase two very soon. Yeah, like very soon. Very, very, very soon. Let's go up. 
raise our altitude. No, I mean height. Actually, altitude is height, isn't it? Yeah, it's a posh word for it. Right, we're still doing pretty decent on ammunition. And we're going into... Wait a minute. And here we go. Phase two, right? Come on. When are we? There we are. And phase two. Here we go. Now, this is where the battle really begins. We can simply got to go. We've got to bait the brain. Deal damage to it. Get it away from us. And simply kill it. We've got to kill it before it kills us. No, stop, 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 stop. There we are. It's starting to do this thing where, you know, it kind of like tries to fake out, fake you out. Try to, you know... It's, try, it's trying to pretend that it's somewhere else, which is quite annoying, but it can go and pe repel it back with the, mini, with the mini shark, which is quite good. So yeah, it stops moving when it takes damage. So if we just simply, we simply keep on damaging it, it won't be able to move us and hurt us. Yeah, this is easy. This is fine. We are taking quite a bit of hits, so we kind of get cocky, because it's going to get quite hard. Now, especially since it's hard to tell which guy is the boss. Yeah, we can use the minimap to find out, though. And the brain of Kafulu has been... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, there we are, and yep, there we have it. The brain of Cthulhu has been defeated. God, where the hell are you? The brain of Cthulhu has been defeated. Oh God, we got an achievement. Slayer of Worlds, nice. Wow, wait, that was something. Well, well, that's that. Okay, first of all, I already had the achievement, Slayer of Worlds, but apparently I needed to get it again. Whatever. Right, that was quite stressful, I gotta say. That guy just simply wouldn't die, but the mini shark did the work. So in other words, you just always get the mini shark. Whenever you're playing Terraria, you just always get the mini shark. Cause the superior, cause the ruby staff, no matter how good it is, the mini shark always will be better. Right, well yeah, the brain of Cthulhu is dead, that is another boss ticked off. Now with the brain dead, we can actually go down into the underworld using and cra and yeah, we can upgrade our pickaxe so we can you we can go down to the underworld with our new pickaxe. We can mine up hellstone, make ourselves some hell armor, and with the hell armor we can go go back into the jungle, explore more, find a beehive, construct an arena, and we can take on the next boss, which is going to be the queen bee. Good. First of all, clear clear our yeah, can I speak? Let's firstly clear out our inventory. Get ourselves, so you know, um, get ourselves a new pickaxe, craft some items, and then we can go and spend the remainder of this episode exploring the skies. Right, wow, we, we've done it. Thought we couldn't do it, but we've done it. Okay, we couldn't do it. My, my weapons were too weak. But the mini shark got us through that battle quite easily. Now, I'm actually gonna need this stuff. Okay, let's first of all go buy ourselves some ammunition. Let's restock, yeah. Let's restock on ammo, and then you can go and deal with the loot, yeah. So, ammo, then you can go deal with the loot, and then you can explore the skies. What are we going to do next episode? Next episode, we're going to go down to the underworld. Yeah. Next episode, first things first, we're going to go. We're going to hell, head down right into the underworld. We're going to do we're going to do some underworld exploring. We're going to do some hell mining, hell exploring, have a fun time with that. So that is the plan for next episode. So now, let's go back to our base. We can actually use it. Got me, yeah, that's not enough fire. Just All right, cool. Now, let's, uh, yeah. Let's use this. These items. So, as I was saying, I got so much crimped. Holy moly. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, the, today, the, I was, my, our main goal is to kill the brain of Cthulhu, which our main goal is now completed. Now, our secondary objective is to explore the skies, and you can do that in a minute. We're in a minute, we're going to go, we're going to get our golf ball, we're going to carry and explore the skies, having a t fun time of that. And next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to deal with, yeah, uh, we're going to uh, go down into the underworld. So next episode, we're going to go, using our new pickaxe, we're going to go jump down this gap. This elevator and land straight into here in hell. Our weapons and our our weapons and armor should be able, should be enough for us to survive down there. So we're gonna go into the underworld, kill everything that we can kill, get as much loot as we can, mine up a lot of hellstone, mine up as much hellstone as we can, get as much uh, hellstone as we can, yeah, and then we can go and craft something with that hellstone, like some hell armor or some other stuff. So we can do that basically. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, next episode we're gonna go. Explore hell, get some hell stuff, make us some hell armor. So the episode after, we can go down and carry on dealing with the jungle. But for now, let's deal with our loot from the boss fight. So firstly, what did we get? Boom! Well, we got more tissue samples, more crimson ore, some money, and obviously, the brain of confusion. This weapon isn't actually that good. Has a chance to create illusions and dodge an attack. That's new, I think. Temporarily increases critical after critical chance of the dodge. It may confuse near enemies after being struck. So enemies will enemies will be confused after they hit me. That's decent. Not the best. Definitely the thing that you get from the from the Eater of Worlds is better. The Eater of Worlds drop, which is the it's called the 
the worm scarf. Yeah, the worm scarf is better, but the brain of Kafuru, the brain of confusion, isn't actually that bad. This one's a hard one, so it gives you plus one defense. Can also put anything for this negates full damage. I don't really like full damage, so that's good. This makes it jump more, which is I guess pretty good. I, well, I don't really use it that much now, do I? No, I don't really use it that much. But I guess it's decent. Uh, I can use my grappling hook and support for that. Boom, boom, put on the brain. Actually, how about this? More health, I do want the health. We can run fast, we're gonna need that. Guarding shield. I don't really use the shield, to be honest. I don't, I don't really use it to dodge. But it does give me a bonus for defense. Two defense because of the shield and bonus two defense because it's guarding. And the more defense, the better. This is actually hard, so I do get one less defense. Because this actually gave me two and this only gives me one, but that's fine. Whatever. Put this away and let's explore the skies, shall we also? Yeah, we can actually do something with the tissue samples now, can we? Can't we? Yes. Okay, let's first of all go get the hell up for the love of God to get up. Oh, I kind of... I was trying to double jump. Yeah, I was trying to double jump. I realized I cannot double jump. Yeah. I keep I kept on trying to double jump, but I cannot double jump because I don't actually have the double jumping thing. Oh well. Well that's gonna be a thing that I've gonna have to get used to that we cannot double jump. Oh well. Now let's turn all these crimpting all this crimpting ore all this crimpting ore into crimpting bars, then you go and craft something with that. And holy moly, we've got a hundred and sixty two crimpting bars. That is a lot. Okay. Let's see what we can make. I actually need to use the sand for god damn it, I need my double jump there. Oh yeah, no. Now, flesh catcher. I don't really mind. I don't really care about fishing. Uh, blood cluster. Uh, it's just a melee weapon or anything like that. It's also an axe. I don't use melee weapons. Crimson armor. I could make crimson armor, but I'm thinking about skipping crimson armor. Because normally at this point, you would make crimson armor and then use the crimson armor to go and fight at a boss. But I think I'm going to skip it. I think I'm going to skip the crimson armor and then we're going to go and straight. I'm going to head straight into the underworld and actually uh, get myself the hell armor. Because, yeah. Because we have gold armor, then we can get the crimson armor. The next armor after the crimson is the hell. But I'm thinking about fully skipping the crimson armor and moving straight onto hell armor. And I think that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be better. That will make, you know, us exploring. It's, that's going to make the hell exploration quite hard. Because you're supposed to go into the underworld after the queen bee fight. But we're going to go in before. We're going to get also some hell armor. And the hell armor is going to make the battle between the bee a lot easier. Anyway, so I'm not going to do that. The Crimson Pickaxe, the Deathbringer, actually, we're gonna do that of, of course. Flesh Guard, I don't really need. I don't really need, I don't really need. Actually, I don't really use Yo-Yo. Let's just go make ourselves a Deathbringer Pickaxe, a pointy one. And this will hopefully help us out. So, yeah, Gold Pickaxe, you served really well. But now, we got an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Should I sell the Gold Pickaxe? What should I do with it? I don't know. Ah, uh, that's, that's all I can do, right? Yeah. Materials, just the materials. So we're gonna smack you into here. It's not going to here. Good, I need you. Is that equipment? I don't need my gold pick. I'm just going to sell it. Yo, you, party girl. No, you. Take it for love of God. Destiny shop. Yes, take that. Thank you. Give me your money. 20 silver? What a scam. Whatever. That is that. Now, yeah. So, as I said, we had two... Oh, God damn it. We had two objectives today. Fight the brain, which we've done. The brain of Cthulhu is dead. Now, our next objective. Explore the skies. Let's go. Let's do some sky exploration. Have a fun time. Next episode we're going to do is we're going to go and yeah, we're going to explore the underworld, we're going to get down straight into hell, we're going to explore the underworld, we're going to find ourselves some hellstone, maybe the, um, that hell furnace, whatever it's called, and we're going to simply deal with all that. So next episode we're going to explore hell, but for now, let's explore the skies. We've explored this much, so we've got to kind of get to over here. Yeah, let's go, let's get over here and explore the skies from there, although... Well, while we are here, let's maybe go up. Let's explore maybe the the sky. I mean, this place up here. Uh, yeah, let's explore that. So we gotta go quite high up. We gotta go very high up if we wanna explore that. Let's get up and let's explore that piece of uh, of you know of the air, shall we? Give me this. That's all I'm gonna need. Yeah, I'm actually probably gonna need more. Give me both of these. There we go. And let's see, let's get up there. Let's explore that little bit of pit, the bit of air. Let's explore that a little bit. So we're gonna have that already explored and gone. Then we can go out afterwards, explore the left and right. So give me a minute, I'm gonna go get all the way up there, explore the top, then you can go and explore the left and the right. Give me a minute. Alrighty, I believe that we are high enough. We are quite high, we are very close. Now we're gonna go use these three dart blocks that we got. Boom, boom, boom. Then I'm gonna go and smack this right under here. Boom. And then this right under here, then I'm gonna go and smack the gold ball straight up. Oh, okay, that wasn't that was terrible. And no, 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 wait a minute. It's quite hard to shoot up from this angle. Yeah, and never uh, mind. And. Pachow! And that's gonna go straight into the stratosphere. Great. And then one more shot more to the left, and that's gonna explore that. Perfect! That is fully explored now, that will no longer annoy me. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna mine all this up, don't we? Yeah. 
Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be here for a while. Alright, give me a minute. I'll see you in a minute. Well, probably longer than a minute. Guys, look. Look, 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 look. A meteorite has landed. I was just casually sitting here minding my own business, sleeping because it's quite late. I managed to take down the entire thing, yeah. Oh, these fallen stars. I've managed to take down the entire uh, rope. I've dug all the rope down and you got rid of got rid of it, but then by the time I was finished getting rid of it, it was quite dark, so I went to sleep. But now, while I was sleeping, a meteorite just simply landed. It was actually a meteorite falling through the sky, but I didn't actually get catch that on camera. But a meteorite did land. I don't know where it landed, but there's a meteorite in our world. I don't think we're gonna be able to go and see it anywhere on here. Oh, that is where it is. I think I see it. Yeah, meteorite, that's where it is. It fell right here and it crashed right into that gap. Okay, well, we see it. That is where the meteorite is. That means we can now mine it up and we can get ourselves the space gun and the meteorite armor, a bunch of other meteorites related stuff. Alright, cool. So you can go mine up the meteorite now. Cool. Issue is, um, yeah. I don't think I'm gonna use the meteorite armor. I think I'm just gonna go straight for hell armor. But I could use a space gun. It's an R, you know, a mana mana weapon. So we could use a space gun. So cool. We have a meteorite. We can go and we can you know go and deal with that later. Cool. Meteorite has landed. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on sleeping. Wait till it's daytime, and then when it turns to daytime, we can go. We can explore the skies a bit. Have fun time. We can mine up the meteorite someday. But generally, yeah. Let's just go and explore the skies. Good morning. Now that the fallen stars have just disappeared, that means it's daytime, which means we're gonna go and explore the sky. Uh, let's go. Let's just go. Oh, my man. How, how did you get here? Great. We have an unconscious man lying in, on our golf field, which is great. This is the tavern keep. I don't know what the hell he's doing here. I don't know why he's here, but yeah, he exists. I don't know where he likes to live, but yeah. Hello. Um, how did they get here? The last thing I remember was the portal opening up in front of me. Yeah, yeah, he just do the attorney stuff. I feel so out of place without a bar to polish. That's your problem. Yeah, he's gonna give the defender mails, blah, blah, blah. And he sells all this stuff. I guess I could buy something from him. What should we buy? The flame burst rod shoots fire. This. Oh, the travel merchant drive. That's actually kind of useless. Yeah, what could we use from him? I think he's gonna buy the flame burst rod. It does use five mana, but some of the sense that shoots fire. Let's get that, shall we? Boom. Nice. And where does, where does this imbecile like to live, huh? I don't actually know. The, he likes to live in the hollow. Okay, the hollow isn't actually here yet. Which means he's gonna have to live with me. Yeah, he's gonna have to live with me. Um, Hello, the traveling merchant. Where is he? Yeah, he likes to live in the hollow. The hollow ain't here yet. Boom. He's gonna have to live with me. Hello, Mr. Merchant. Yeah, what you selling? Uh, hi, uh, tiger skin. No, 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 no. Don't want that. Uh, do I have the life from analyzer? I do not. But I do have that. Okay, give me that. Thank you. I need to go and get... I need to find the Goblin Tinker very soon. Okay, right, cool. Yeah, we have a new NPC. Uh, I am Ison, Barney. I am Ison. Yeah, whatever. Just the, the Tavern Keep. The Tavern Keep is here now, which is quite cool. The issue is... We cannot build him, build him a home. Why not? Well, because he wants to have a home in the Hollow. But as you know, we are pre-hard mode. And as, as you also know, the Hollow is a hard mode biome. Which means we cannot actually build him a home until we enter hard mode. And we're actually quite far off because look at defeat Skeletron, the uh, Wall of Flesh, obviously, and the Queen Bee. So, yeah, we, we are still quite far off before we can enter hard mode, which means the Hollow won't be here for a while, so he's gonna live with us. I've, I've said that all the uh, all the NPCs that like to live, that want to live in the Hollow, they're gonna live with me. Until the Hollow arrives, they're gonna live with me. So, the party girl, she likes to live in the Hollow. Well, she can go and live with me. The nurse, she likes to live in Hollow, she can also live with me. And also, my man, the tavern keeper, he also likes to live in the Hollow, so he can go and he can live with me until the Hollow becomes a biome in our world. Because currently the Hollow ain't actually a biome, yeah. The Hollow isn't actually a biome, the Hollow just isn't here yet. So because I cannot actually, I don't know where the Hollow is gonna be, I don't, I, I simply don't know where the Hollow is gonna be, I don't know where, I don't, yeah, I simply don't know where it's gonna be. It's not here yet, I don't know where it's going to be, therefore I can't really do anything about it. So for now, all the NPCs that like to live in the Hollow, they're gonna have to live with me until the Hollow actually appears. That's gonna be all. Well, that's well, the only thing we can do. Anyway, let's say yeah, let's make it to a part of the world that we haven't explored the sky yet, and let's explore the skies, shall we? All right, we have arrived in a place where three different biomes beat. We have the forest, we have the ice biome, and we also have the crimson. Three different biomes in one place. Quite interesting, exciting actually. Anyway, yeah, let's just go shoot our golf ball in the sky, see so if you can find up there. Have fun time with that. So yeah, as I said, the hollowed NPCs, not hollowed, the NPCs that like to live in the hollow, they're gonna live with me until we get the hollow. Because the hollow isn't here, they're gonna have to live with me. But the second we get the hollow, we're gonna go, we're gonna build a home, and we're gonna go and move all three of those idiots in there. For now, they're gonna have to live with me. 
But even before that, let's first of all go explore the skies have fun time. As I said, next episode we're gonna go and explore the underworld. We're gonna get ourselves some uh, health stone. We're gonna deal with the underworld. We could also maybe mine up the uh, meteorite. But for now, let's just go. Oh God, Christ! Let's explore the skies and then finish up for the day. And yeah, have a fun time. So yeah, hollowed NPCs. We're gonna live in the hollow when we get it. For now, we're gonna live with me. Underworld. We're gonna explore that next episode. And we can also mine, maybe mine up the meteorite. And explore the skies you can do right now. This method of sky exploring maybe ain't the most efficient, but it's a one that works. Can you just like your man go away? Yeah, okay, just stop, stop, stop. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, I probably need to get a bit higher to actually explore the higher parts of the sky, but you know what? It's too much trouble. Let's just go and walk in one direction, shoot the golf ball up in the sky, explore as much of the sky as you can. And then I guess you can explore the other side next episode. Maybe you can extend the episode today, so you can explore the entirety of the left side. And you can go and spend the entirety of, um, just, well, you can spend most of them, a uh, different episode exploring the right side, yeah. So now we're gonna go dedicate most of this, we're gonna dedicate a lot of time to exploring the left side today. And then, as I said, a different episode, you can worry about the right side. For now, shoot some gold balls in the sky, have a fun time. And as I said, next episode, we can do more stuff. Why are there so many enemies? What in the name of God? Oh my God, go away. The Crimson's a very dangerous biome, as you can clearly see. So doing sky exploration in here is going to be quite a difficult task. Which is quite a battle. So you go and kill the space monster. And also kill this Crimea, so it stops annoying me. Okay, kill both Crimeras, because there's two of them. Okay, that's another face monster. Okay, we don't have time to be killing these guys. I could be standing here for a year and I would keep on coming forever. Just go. Yeah, uh huh, no. Stop. Put the... Put that goddamn thing down. Stop. How did he jump over me? Die. You can also die, then you can also die. How are there two of you? Stop. Just go away, stupid face monsters. Oh my god, there's so much stuff going on after me. Just go the hell away and die. A perishable and painful death. Okay, can you just kill that spider? Thank you. Yeah. Get us more than coming in. Okay, you know what? Spank the gold ball in. And shoot it up straight into the sky. Boom! We can probably tank some damage if needs be. Okay, and there's no more where we can explore from that. Boom, right over there. There we are. Okay, yeah, wait for the camera to go back. So expo okay, no, stop. Okay, no. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Okay, no, stop. Oh, I'm taking so much damage. You can go away, my man. Yeah, okay. The cloud is also gone, which is quite great. Okay, you can take a bit of damage. There we are. My bird can finish these fools off. There we are. And then we're gonna shoot the gold bolt up into this part of the sky. No, stop. And param! Explore that part of the sky. Voila. And then explore a bit more to this side. Bam! And we're gonna explore that. Nice, and that should be enough of that. Now let's go kill these idiots that are gonna kill me in a minute. And you're gonna explore the other side. Okay, <clears throat> this ain't going good. This is not good at all. I'm running out of ammo. And I'm gonna die. No, stop, stop, go away, my man. Stop, just go away. There's so many enemies, oh my god. I've defeated 50 face monsters. Oh my god, you stupid face monsters. Die, just die. Give me this and run for your goddamn life. This guy, don't even, just, just, just run, just simply just run, go the hell away, I need a healing potion, give me that, give me, oh, oh, oh. there we go, use some matrix skills to get around these fools, completely annihilate this dude, there we go, then shoot behind me and run, where's the next explore piece of the sky, still in the crimson, that's actually a bit of a shame, but I think we can kind of cheese that, by running a mile away and then hopefully never coming back on the crimson, god, I thought this would take like, what, like five minutes and it'd be done, holy hell, I'm doing this for like two entire episodes now and you only explore like a quarter of the goddamn sky, we can't even explore that because the golf ball can only go up so high. And this, this, this um, club, uh, this, the, this is the one that shoots the golf ball the, the furthest. There's, I don't think any other ones can shoot it any further. Which, well, that means that, well, we're pretty screwed. I guess I can always go and use, use a different character. Actually, I kind of use a different character. Because if I explore the world on a different character, we're actually fill it in on my, uh, you know, okay, I kind of get up. If I use a different character to explore the sky, it won't actually fill up the sky on my screen, on my character. It's only gonna fill up the sky for that other character, which I've used. Which is gonna, it's quite annoying. Oh, you son of a... So, yeah, I kinda use a different character. It's a different character. I can explore the world with him, but it's not actually gonna go and fill up the map on my... On, it is on this character, which is gonna mean that entire exploration progress is gonna, exploration is gonna be quite useless. Okay, how can I not get up? How is it so hard to get up a goddamn thing? Put those goddamn ropes down. Get up! I really miss my double jump. Like, I really do. That is such a good thing. Okay, can you just go? I used to face monster. How much health do you have? Way too much. Okay. I don't think any face monsters or those weird spiders can get me. But Crimea? Oh, they're gonna be quite a bit of a trouble. Okay, stop, die, burn in hell, and shoot you up in the sky. Boom! Any more floating islands? I doubt it. Oh, never mind, there's one right up there. Okay, wowee. Smack that right up there. We have a floating island. Okay. How do we get to that, huh? 
without taking 15 hours to get to it. You can see a tiny bit of this cloud up there. Okay, so do you have, we do have something up there. Noted. Okay, we have one right up there. Okay, wow. This is a float, it's floating, it's floating island galore. God. Okay, this is the dungeon. We're going to be fighting the boss near there soon. Uh, I don't know how to really feel about that. Okay, no, my man, go away. Okay, nice. That's my this guy's going to be able to explore because I'm going to die. Okay. You can die, then we've got to get ourselves up, don't we? Yeah, we've got to get up to the sky island. Okay, give me a second. We've got to get up there. Right, I'm being assaulted by harpies left and right here. This is not gonna work. There's just too many harpies to deal too much damage. I cannot kill them in time. This isn't actually gonna work. These harpies are just gonna get on my nerves too much. If we wanna explore the skies, you know, my way, then we're gonna have to go and get, get rid of these harpies, which I kinda like do, because... Well, I don't know how to kill harpies without, you know, cheating. So we're not gonna be able to do this. Ah, oh, I'm caught on. Good. Okay, no, okay, we're screwed. Okay. That's as far as we're gonna go. Up there, because you know what? Screw floating islands. The harpies are too annoying. So, we're not gonna be able to do that. Let's just go and explore the rest of the sky on the ground floor. Then, can finish up for the day. And the next episode, we can actually worry about exploring the underworld. Okay, I need my double jump back. Like, I'm sorry, but I want my double jump back. It is so useful, and not having it makes this process 50 times harder. So, I need my double jump. I'm sorry, but I need it. So, one of these items is gonna have to go. Because I need my double jump back. So, we're gonna get that once we get, once we get back home. For now, let's shoot the gold ball straight into the sky. Hoping there's no more floating islands, because screw you, I'm not going up fighting anymore. Not today. Alright. Now I'm gonna shoot that right up there. Okay, no, it's that over here. Yep, on the edge of the thing. Very safe. Okay, there it is. The other edge of the floating island. She didn't actually manage to get to it because of those goddamn harpies. If I would have my um, double jump, I could have probably get onto her, gotten onto her. But not enough my double jump, so we just simply got knocked down and died. Well, you didn't die, but you get the point. Anyway, let's get out of here before the golf ball kills somebody. And you get blamed for it. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's go explore a bit more of the sky than finish off for the day. And as I said, soon we're going to be able to go and uh, deal with exploring the left side and, and explore more floating islands. Next episode, we're going to go and we're going to battle. We're actually, we're going to, well, we're going to battle away through hell. We're going to go straight into the underworld. We're going to fight some enemies that you can find in the underworld. Kill them. Uh, steal a bunch of uh, hellstone from the underworld. Have fun time. Why does this look so weird? What the hell? That is very strange. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Next episode, we're gonna explore the sky. We're gonna go and not the sky. Next episode, we're gonna explore the underworld. Have fun time with that. For now, let's just kind of shooting golf balls up into the sky. This is what I like to call golf. Straight into the sky. No worries. No trying to hit anything. Just straight into the sky. Boom. This type of golf that I like. There we are. And maybe one more over there, that area. That'll probably do it. Yeah, the travel merchant's gone. I don't really care. Cool. Let's go. Make our way back over there. And let's just make our make our way to the ocean. Shoot shoot some more golf balls and we can finish off for the day. Also, I need to buy more rope. I only have well obviously 69. So I need to buy myself more rope because I'm kinda of running low. There's so much to do. Christ almighty. Okay, okay, okay. Let's we really run and smash this down on the ground. Shoot a yeah, and shoot a golf ball up right here. Okay, that was a trouble. Shoot. Boom! Nice. You can go and do it on the other side. We can also use, do this to explore like the depth of the ocean. Uh, we can do this We can do this to explore the underground ocean part. It's going to be quite useful. There we are. Beautiful. That's all nice at a very similar level. Right, and boom, shoot it over there. And you can explore this part of the sky, or this part of the, you know, thing which I haven't explored much. And the golf ball has sunk. Great. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. And I think that's as much sky's exploration as we're going to be able to do. Well, in that case, let's not waste any more time. Let's get the good hell out of here. Au revoir. Boom, we're back home. Holy jeez, I'm never doing that again. Well, I kind of have to, because we'll have to go and explore the other side. We explored that mostly, but we still have the other side to deal with. Oh, well, we can deal with that some other time. For now, let's just go put all that crap back and then finish off for the day. Soon, we're going to go and we're going to deal with the right side. Next episode, we're going to go and we're going to fight... Um, through, under, through the underworld, we're gonna go kill a bunch of underworld bosses. Um, not bosses, what am I thinking? The blood moon's rising! God damn it! Okay, let's just dump all this stuff. This kind just, you know, let's just put it down there. And you know what I'm gonna do? Well, because the blood moon, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Yep. If there's always something bad happening, don't try to help anyone. Just run. That is my motto. If something bad, if something bad is happening, just simply run. Let's go and maybe just, yeah, do some stuff before these guys kill us. I hate when blood moves happen, they're so annoying. Equipment, give me this. Hey, you know what, this brain confusion doesn't do that much. Okay, we're not gonna stop with that, so with the band. Boom, that's that. 
Goodbye. <laughs> I don't have enough time nor the patience to do that today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to go and finish off right here. Next episode, we're going to have two primary objectives. Reach and explore the underworld. And then mine up a bunch of hellstone and make ourselves the hell pickaxe and a bunch of hell armor. And then the episode after that, I can go and worry about fighting Queen Bee and exploring the jungle even more. That's going to be cool. We're going to explore the right side of the sky later on. Have fun time with that. We're going to go and, you know, find more floating islands. We're going to explore the floating islands that we found. Have fun time. So, yeah, next episode, we're going to just deal with hell. And, yeah, for now, we're done. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!